It's incredibly common for us to define ourselves by the platforms that we use. As makers in particular, we look at the vehicle that we use to deliver a message, and we define ourselves by that vehicle. I am an author because I write books. I am a blogger because I write blogs. But in a lot of cases, it's much more beneficial if you actually believe in the message that you're trying to convey to be vehicle agnostic. I'm Colin Wright, and you are watching Consider This. Now, what I mean by vehicle agnosticism is that you look at every platform, you look at every potential vehicle for delivering a particular message, for communicating something, and you're equally open to all of them. This doesn't mean that you're going to go out and write a pop song about that treatise on some archaeological finding that you want to write, but it does mean that you'll consider it, and you'll consider it and say, is this the best possible means of telling this story, of communicating this information, and reaching the audience that I want to reach. Now that last part in particular is really important because it's ultra common for us to fixate on one particular delivery mechanism and consider that to be the limits of the media that we have available to tell our stories. If I use words, if I'm a writer, then I can write a book, I can write a blog, I can write a fortune cookie or a pamphlet, whatever. I can write a lot of different types of media but if the audience I'm trying to reach is not an audience that reads, they don't read books, they don't read blogs, they don't eat fortune cookies, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be communicating to the people I want to communicate with. The practice will be masturbatory because it'll be great for me, I'll be able to write this thing that I want to write, but I won't be able to reach anybody on the other end. And in a lot of cases, when you're a creator of something, the most satisfying relationship that you have is between you and the work that you're creating and the person on the other side, the person who will actually be consuming this information or this story that you're telling. Now, this means in a lot of cases that we have to be open to learning new techniques. And I say techniques because it's not that you have to change the way that you create necessarily, not, not in the means of actually imagining something or compiling information into a digestible format. What you're changing is the delivery mechanism. And so me as an author, if I decide that I want to reach people, say, who don't read but watch videos, then I take a lot of the same skills that go into writing a book and I learn some of the, the skills, the technique that I need to record a video and deliver it in that way. Likewise, somebody who writes music might be convinced to create a podcast about music, to communicate something about this thing that they love to a completely different audience of people. This is something that I try to communicate to people as often as possible, because I do believe that the part of the brain that creates is not locked in on just one medium. It's not like you're a painter who does oil paints and that means that you can't draw. And as a result, I do believe that as long as you take the time to learn the technique, to learn the skills, to learn the materials that you're going to work with, somebody who paints with oils can learn to paint with watercolor and then they can learn to draw and they can learn to write and they can learn to create music. I think creation is creation. We just get held back a whole lot because we define ourselves by this one medium that we use and then when we try another medium, it doesn't come as easily as that one that we've practiced a lot with. And so if a painter practices writing and reads a whole lot and exposes themselves to this other medium, this other technique, I think they would have a natural advantage over somebody who doesn't create anything. I think it's healthier then, in a lot of cases, for us to consider ourselves makers or creators of things, rather than saying, I am an author, I am a maker of YouTube videos, because Defining ourselves by the technique that we use limits us, and if we're going to make changes in the delivery mechanism that we're using, the, the means of communication that we're using, then we have to change everything about ourselves. And changing your self-identity is one of the most difficult things to change. We will rebel against the idea of changing this more than anything else, because it's how we define ourselves to ourselves. And if we can say a more generic creator of things, I am Colin, a creator of things, that allows me then to branch out in any direction that I want. I can utilize my creative brain muscle using whatever technique, whatever materials happen to be available, rather than saying, oh no, I couldn't possibly do that. That's a video. I don't know how to do that. I am a writer of words. I write them on a page. I can't do that. Redefining ourselves in this way is enabling, and I think it will result in a whole lot more interesting work 
Because what could be more interesting than having somebody who is a uh, performance artist, somebody who's like a dancer or an actor, who then learns to paint, and they take that unique point of view from this one field and then bring it into another medium? What does that look like? What does their work look like? I find that this is the case every time I experiment with a new medium. It's incredibly exciting. And having learned to draw, and then to paint, and then to do graphic design, and then to bring that graphic design over into my publishing experience, where I write books and design my own covers, I can tell you that you can communicate a lot of the same ideas using different media, and it is incredibly satisfying on a lot of different levels. And it allows me then, if I'm getting sick of writing words, to maybe tell stories with graphics for a while, or maybe tell stories with spoken word for a while. If you're going to define yourself, Define yourself using vocabulary that liberates you. Don't use words that restrict you. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, a little thumbs up like or a subscription would be awesome. You can also share it with your friends or family or some creative person in your life who you would like to see expanding their horizons. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in the section below too to leave encouragement or ask questions or whatever just to say howdy. If you want to find out more about me and my work, all kinds of work across all different types of media, you can go to colin.io and you can say hi to me on other social networks, be it Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Tumblr or Snapchat or whatever. It's Colin is my name, uh, just Colin Wright on Facebook. Thanks guys.